Hi, I'm DJ Townsville. Welcome to Rooted in Power. For today's class, we're going to do a core flow, something that will strengthen up the obliques, the abdominals, the lower back, all of the things that we sometimes forget about in our yoga practice. So I'll throw a little flow together for you guys so you can follow along, do something to strengthen up that core and get the sweat going. Don't curse me out. I promise you're going to want to, but get past it. So let's get going. We're going to start at the top of the mat in mountain pose. Take a moment to take a few breaths. Deep inhale through the nose, slow control to exhale out the nose. Start to center your mind and your body because we're about to get right into it. Take one more deep inhale, slow exhale. And our next inhale, we're gonna take the arms to the sky. Swan dive into forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, half lift. And for our exhale, we're going to step the right leg to the back of the mat, come into a nice high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, this time we're going to go a little bit deeper, extended side angle, taking the left hand to the mat or onto the block. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. This time we're going to float the left hand just above the mat to get those obliques fired up. So using that core to keep that hand elevated off the mat. Holding there. And back to warrior two. Now flipping the left palm up, we're going to reach out in front with the left hand. Reach the right arm over the top of the head. Opening the body to the right. So feel the obliques firing, feel that stretch in the right side body, using the breath, using the strength in the legs to keep yourself elevated. Holding for two more breaths. And one more. And taking the hands down to the mat, stepping back to plank. Deep inhale, exhale chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now the curve ball for today is our downward dog will have a crunch sequence involved. So inhaling the right leg to the sky, exhaling the right knee to the left tricep, so crossing over the body, lowering down to the left wrist, floating just above the mat, trace the knee over to the right wrist, and then up to the right tricep. If you're a little bit more advanced, you want to throw our arm balance in there, start to bend chaturanga arms, going into EPK or any other arm balance you prefer. Pressing the left foot down, stepping back, lowering the right foot. Now inhaling the left leg to the sky, bringing the left knee to the right tricep. Trace it down to the right wrist, bringing it over to the left wrist, taking it up to the left tricep. Again, if you want to go into an arm balance, you can go into EPK or any other arm balance that you feel, or you can stay right there at the tricep. Step down and back, downward dog. Inhaling both feet to the top of the mat. Half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift again. And this time stepping the left leg back, high crescent lunge. Exhale, lowering the heel down, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, right hand inside the right foot. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And another extended side angle, this time floating that right hand above the mat inside the right foot. Holding there. Continue to breathe. This time coming up to warrior two, 
flipping the right palm up, reaching forward with the right hand, bringing the left hand over the top of the head. Holding that, engaging the feet, the legs into the mat, firing through the core. Holding for one more breath. And hands to the mat, step back to plank. Deep inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Back to our downward dog crunches. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale it to the left tricep. Trace it down to the left wrist. Trail it over to the right wrist. Lift it up to the right tricep and back. Inhaling the left leg to the sky, exhaling it to the right tricep, lowering down to the left, right wrist, trailing it over to the left wrist, bringing it up to the left tricep and back to downward dog. So from our downward dog, this time we're gonna take a couple breaths here. and rolling the body forward like a wave, rounding through the spine. We're gonna come to our plank, lower down to the forearms. Now making sure that the wrist, elbows, and shoulders are still aligned, coming to our forearm plank. Holding that nice and strong, keeping the spine straight, keeping the core, quads, and glutes engaged. Hands and fingertips pressed into the mat. Gonna work through a little flow from the forearms. So we're gonna press the hands and the fingertips into the mat, start to walk the feet up, coming into dolphin pose. Stay nice and strong. And then walk the feet back into our forearm plank. Rocking the right hip over to the ground or just above the ground. And then rocking back to center and rocking the left hip over. Coming back, we'll go one more time on the right. And back to center, over to the left, back to center. Walking back up to Dolphin. For my intermediate or advanced students, if you wanna go into a forearm stand, you're more than welcome to. Work your way back down and walk back to that forearm plank. Two more times. On each side, right hip, back to center, left hip, back to center. One more time, right hip, back to center, left hip, back to center. And we're gonna go through that one more time. So walking up to Dolphin, again, if you wanna take a forearm stand, you can. Then back to our forearm plank, right hip to center, left hip to center. One more time, right hip, center, left hip, center. Pushing up to our high plank, chaturanga, exhale, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Back to our downward dog sequence, right leg to the sky, knee to the left tricep, down to the left wrist, over to the right wrist, up to the right tricep, and back. Inhaling the left leg to the sky, exhaling the knee to the right tricep, down to the right wrist, over to the left wrist, up to the left tricep and back. Taking a couple breaths here in downward dog. So for our next two poses, we'll be transitioning between locust and boat pose. So first I'm gonna give a quick tutorial for my beginners and for my intermediate and advanced students. So for beginners, if we wanna to get to our other position to get into boat pose, you can step forward to the top of the mat Brace yourself with the hands and then come to a seated position so that we end up in boat pose. Once we finish our boat pose sequence, 
to get back to locust, what you can do is just press the hands into the mat, stand tall, and then step back to plank or chaturanga so that we end up in our position for locust. So for my intermediate and advanced students, if you wanna do more of a dynamic transition, you can jump through to a seated position so that we're ready for boat pose. And for my intermediate students, if you wanna get back in a more dynamic way, you can rock back and forth, press the hands in, kick back to plank or chaturanga. So coming back to downward dog, we're gonna get into our boat pose position. So stepping or jumping through to a seated position, coming into our boat pose position. So I have a couple blocks here. I'll put them on this side so you can see. So from boat pose, you can hold the back of the knees. You can place the hands behind you on the mat or you can come to our boat pose position. But we're gonna take the arms to the sky. We're gonna reach over, grab the block. First block should be stacked on top and carry it over to the left. Come back to center with the hands. Reach over, grab the second block. Take it to the sky. Touch it down to the second block and then bring it right back up. And over to the right. Reach up, grab your other block. Take it to the sky. Bring it over. So we're gonna go into our boat pose again, holding it there. We're gonna inhale, extend the legs out, lean the body back so that you're just off the mat. Exhale, come forward. So we'll do that five times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and hold for three, two, one, lay the body all the way down, bringing the knees into the chest. Hugging in tight, maybe rocking side to side. So start to rock back and forth, getting ready for our transition to locust. Beginners, you have your option. Intermediate and advanced, you have your option. Start to gain your momentum. And once you're ready, work your way back. Allow the body to lay flat on the mat. We're gonna clasp the hands behind the back and lift the chest, squeezing the glutes, lifting the legs, holding that position, feeling that engagement in the lower back, strengthening those muscles in the back, holding for three, two, one. and pressing up into plank and back to downward dog. So again, going back into our boat pose, bend the knees, step or jump through to your seated position, into boat pose, taking the arms to the sky, reaching over, grabbing your first block, taking it up and over, arms up, reach over, grab the second block, up and touch, bringing it right back to the sky, and over to the right, up with the arms, grab your second block, and over. Holding that boat pose, inhale, extend, exhale, crunch, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale and hold for three, Two, one, allow the body to lay flat, bringing the knees into the chest, rock side to side if you need to. Start to prepare yourself for that last transition. Start to build up your momentum for your transition. Going one more time, get ready for it. And then coming down to the mat, going back into our locust, inhaling, Lifting the chest, engaging through the arms, squeezing the glutes to lift the legs, holding that locust pose for three, two, one. And relax all the way down, press the hands into the mat, sit back in the child's pose, catch your breath, compose yourself, curse out DJ whichever you choose to do.
and go into a nice cool down sequence. But for now, that is the end of our core sequence. Hope you burned some calories, built some strength, got a little more hate in your heart for me. But I appreciate you joining me today. As always, namaste, one love.